I've got a problem and when I say I've got a problem I mean that we've got a problem you see I did a lot of filming up in Shanghai during the summer which was cool but unfortunately a lot of the footage just didn't turn out quite like I wanted it to so what am I gonna do I mean it's not like I can just fly back to Shanghai and you know refilm the footage this is Shanghai so I decided the best course of action clearly is just to pack up everything and move to Shanghai. That way I can get all the footage I need up there, right? Hello. Well, that makes sense. True story, my baggage was a little overweight today. And by a little overweight, I mean it was about 50 kilograms. Is that too much? Maybe? I don't know. So I, um, yeah, I kinda had to put on a few extra shirts today. Would you believe I put on 10 shirts and a vest? three pairs of pants, and I don't even want to talk about how many pairs of underwear I have on. But hey, you know, save some weight. So, when in Rome, or in this case, Hong Kong. So yeah, I'm wearing nine shirts and three pairs of pants, which means when I come in an already small airplane laboratory, I gotta kind of grunt, huff, and puff get everything pulled and situated just right again. And then I hear the stewardess knock on the door and ask, is everything okay? Well, yeah. <laughs> it occurs to me after the fact, she probably thinks I'm in here joining the Mile High Club with myself. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Shanghai. All right. Luggage has arrived and this snarky guy Needs a shower. I've been marinating for hours. So yeah, I needed to get some temporary digs, you know, in between my place in Dongguan and my place in Shanghai. So take you along and let you kind of look at this place. It's it seemed kind of cool at first, you know. You got the you know downstairs area and ooh, you gotta put the. Hmm card in for electricity. They call this a loft apartment and it seemed like such a cool idea at first, you know, because, you know, we got, you know, lots of room and, you know, we got the downstairs area, we got the upstairs area. Yeah. But in practice, a loft is a terrible idea. Well, as far as bad ideas go, you could always get an I love Shanghai tattoo on your butt. <laughs> Do you really want this uh, I love Shanghai tattoo on your butt? Uh, hotel slippers are the worst. Yeah, it's not home. It's temporary digs at best. But hey, it's nice to have a place to collect your thoughts and be able to sort everything out and see if you find the snark pad. Thankfully, I did manage to find an awesome apartment. Come on, let me show you guys around. Uh, no, 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 you need to come out of the refrigerator. The apartment's out here, it's, it's not in there. All that's in here is eggs and cheese. Actually, there's some cheese out here too. Just. So yeah, classic Shanghai architecture. I have an outer gate, which is nice, keep all the riffraff out. 
and a nine pin locking impenetrable front door guaranteed to keep the hordes of Genghis Khan out of my apartment. Uh, once you walk in, of course, I have a kind of a small kitchen. Got a little single sink there, you know, not bad. Double burner stove, nice and hot. Cutting board, a uh, water kettle, and I have a really nice hood for sucking up all the grease and everything else from stuff I cook. Uh, walking in the bathroom, I have a tiny little shower. It fits exactly one snarky guy, complete with a rainmaker, not to be confused with a looper film, of course. A uh, commode, a little red post box there to keep my... Uh, toilet paper and extra kitty litter in, should you need that sort of thing. Walking out, of course, uh, we have my Sudoku puzzle rug, a little bitty sofa, it'll sit two people, three if you're uh, hard pressed to fit more in there. In the living room there, I've got the refrigerator, microwave, and a nice little oven. Uh, the only other room in the house is the bedroom. I have a king size bed with storage underneath in case you need to store extra suitcases, boxes, or dead bodies. Really big British flag because we thought that was a good idea for some reason. Uh, looking back into the uh, living room there, you can see the wall that I painted nice and flat back. It kind of sets the room off a little bit and it looks kind of, I don't know, cool-ish. The desk I'm using there was the actual kitchen table for the family that lived here before, but it made a nice little desk, so why not? Uh, looking back, I've got a nice little uh, IKEA storage uh, bin there, for all sorts of nice stuff. Um, I've got room for all my camera gear here, printer. Uh, this whole apartment is like only 38 square meters, so the cat can walk between the rooms there. He kind of likes to explore. He's, uh, he's funny like that. Uh, dehumidifier, of course, because it is Shanghai and it gets nice and toasty. But, uh, yeah, this is it. This is the Snark Pad. It's uh, not big by any means. But, you know what, as far as Shanghai goes, it ain't bad. It's actually pretty nice, and it's clean, and that's what I like about it. I think that's gonna work. So here's the thing. If you gotta be somewhere in the world, Shanghai, not a bad place to be. Well, hey, I appreciate you guys joining me. Like anything else, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe. And as always, stay frosty. Should have taken that last left at Albuquerque. Oh, washing machine. So. That's why my undies are hanging up there. And here's the thing. If you gotta be... be da, 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 da. I'm actually marinating in my own juices right now. And here's the thing. If you gotta faggot... Did I just say faggot? <laughs>